Hey guys, what is up everyone? How are you people doing? Welcome back to today's session. Once again, hoping that all of you guys are doing good and taking very good care of yourself. This is lecture number three of Light, wherein we'll be talking about the standard incident tray of both concave as well as a convex mirror. That's what we're going to talk about in today's session. My name is Anup and a very warm welcome to all of you guys out there. Once again, hoping that all of you guys are doing good. As always guys, there's a quote waiting for you and the quote for today is this. Winners are not people who never fail, but they are the ones who never quit. And it's absolutely true. It's not like all the people that you know are good at what they do or who win continuously are, you know, have been winning forever. That is not the case. They have lost a lot of times, but they never, uh, you know, took the name of quitting. And finally, they are at the place that they are right now. So please, guys, never quit on your dreams, whatever the dream is. Keep on trying and one day you will make it through. But that's it guys, let's get started with today's session. So in the last couple of sessions, uh, I hope that you guys have watched the videos of that already. If you haven't, please watch the first two sessions so that you are able to understand what we're doing in today's session. This uh, today's session is going to be uh, regarding the incident ray, the standard incident ray of both concave as well as con uh, convex uh, mirrors. So we were in the last session uh, of focus. I had given you a homework and the homework was this. Uh, if the radius of curvature of a convex mirror is 30 centimeters, what will be the focal length? It's a very direct question. I'm pretty sure that all of you guys gave the right answer for this one. If you guys remember the formula, I told you that the focal length of a particular mirror is nothing but half that of the radius or R by 2. The radius is given as 30 uh, centimeters. So 30 divided by 2, that will give you 15 centimeter being the focal length of this particular concave mirror. So the convex mirror. So that is the answer, guys. That will be the answer for this question. 15 centimeter is the answer for this question. Very simple, very straightforward question. Do not ever forget this formula. Do not ever forget this. With that said, guys, let us get into today's session. That is the standard internal, uh, uh, sorry, standard in incident ray, starting with the concave mirrors, and then we'll also understand about the convex mirror. Now, first of all, guys, you guys already know what is an incident ray. An incident ray is nothing but a ray of light coming in, falling, or you know, uh, hitting the surface or reflective surface. That is what is called as an incident ray. Now, if you talk about a concave mirror. There are three kinds of incident rays that we're going to talk about. The first ray of light is one where it is parallel to the principal axis. Very simple scenario. A ray of light is parallel. You see this? It's clearly parallel to the principal axis. Now, if the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis, then the ray of light after reflection will pass through the focus. Now, that is the thing, guys. If a ray of light is you know, parallel to the principal axis, then after reflection, it will pass through the focus. In every single scenario you take, it will always pass through the focus itself. All right. Now, let's take another scenario. A ray of light which is passing through the focus this time. If the ray of light is passing through the focus, the incident ray is passing through the focus, then after reflection, the ray of light will become parallel to the principal axis it will become parallel to the principal axis as simple as that. just the opposite when the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will pass through the focus if the ray of light is already passing through the focus then after reflection it will become parallel to the principal axis that's it all right now the third case scenario is where the ray of light is passing through the center of focus or center of curvature sorry if the ray of light is passing through the center of curvature then after reflection, it will again bounce back in the same exact direction. It will not get reflected in a different direction. It will just pass straight back. It will be like, you know, it hits the surface and again goes back in that exact same line. So if and only if it is passing through the center of curvature, you can see that the ray of light will pass straight back through the center of curvature itself. So these are the three scenarios and this is what the ray diagram looks like. So these are the, these are, this is the ob object. In all the cases, that is the object. The ray of light parallel to the principal axis after reflection passes through the center, uh, through, through the focus. In the second case scenario, when the ray of light is passing through the focus after reflection, it will pass uh, oh, sorry, parallel to the principal axis. And finally, when it's passing through the center of curvature, it will again pass back in that exact same direction itself. Now to talk about a convex mirror. 
how does the incident tree look like and what are the uh, you know what is the path that the reflected tree takes after reflection uh, here's the first one guys when the ray of light is parallel to the principal axis in this case also the ray of light will appear to pass through the focus so after reflection the ray of light would basically be like this it will appear to pass through it's not actually passing through the focus but then it will appear to pass through the focus this is a diverging lens your uh, diverging mirror we've already seen that a convex a convex mirror is always a diverging mirror so after reflection it will appear to pass through the focus so when a person is watching it it will appear like the image is from the focus itself on the other hand when the ray of light is passing through the focus then after reflection it will be parallel to the principal axis so after reflection the ray of light would look like this it will be parallel to the principal axis if in case so it's the same scenario it is the same case when you talk about a concave as well as a convex mirror if the ray of light is passing or appearing to pass through the focus here also it's appearing to pass through the focus then you can see that it goes parallel to the principal axis finally when it's passing through the center of curvature exactly the same thing the ray of light after reflection would again pass through the center of curvature it will it will bounce straight back in that exact same direction it will not deviate anywhere so by that guys just to conclude all the three incident rays which definitely are going to be very useful when you start doing your ray diagrams the first one a ray which is parallel to the principal axis which is either you know uh, in the concave or a convex mirror would either appear to move through the focus or pass through the focus or would actually pass through the focus after reflection a ray of light which is uh, passing through the focus would become parallel to the principal axis both in concave as well as the convex mirror finally a ray of light which is passing through the center of curvature after reflection would also go back in that exact same direction so it will basically follow the exact same path i hope you guys understood this guys these are very very important these are the basic stuff you need to understand so that you are able to understand uh you know when we start the ray diagrams as well so that's it guys let us do some questions before that a very important announcement to make just give me two minutes of your time guys it's super important i'm pretty sure that all of you guys would be able to uh find this very relatable and also helpful so here's the thing is we had done a survey uh in the past uh, on the youtube channels itself we had put up a poll asking what are the problems that you guys face on a daily basis especially because of the lockdown many of you guys are uh, all the figures are not able to go to your school so uh, you know a lot of problems are coming up each and every day and you guys are facing it on a regular basis it's not like it's limited to this but there are a lot more uh, apart from this as well but these are few problems that i'm pretty sure that all the figures will be able to relate to the first one is guys sir i'm not able to get my doubts cleared because uh, there are a lot of sessions that you attend online but then your doubts are not getting cleared on time secondly so how do i get the notes i am studying in different youtube websites and stuff but then how do i get the notes for me to practice or look through it later uh then test and assignments because obviously you can't just go and write your board exams you would have have to practice a lot so where do you practice those questions and assignments and stuff like that and apart from the competitive exams i'm pretty sure that all of you guys are looking forward to write your kvpy and your ntscs and you know olympiads and stuff like that so obviously you want to know how do you prepare yourself for that as as well and also a uh, choice of your own schedule that is very very important because you're not free when the teacher is free when the teacher is free you're not free there's always this conflict of schedule also happening and finally guys the language of your choice because it's not that everyone understands english and it's not that everyone understands hindi so there's a mix of language that you see in india and that is something that uh, we've been addressing for a very very long time now here's the thing guys i'm proudly uh, able to say that vidantu has solved all these problems now how do we solve it doubts you don't have just one teacher in the class you will have two teachers you'll have a master teacher and a class teacher to help you solve your doubts as well so your doubts are answered inside the class you get personalized attention making sure that all your doubts are cleared you get now notes and recordings of each and every classes so if in case you miss out a session you can always watch the recordings of that and download the notes n number of times that you want you can you have periodic tests and assignments to check where you're going wrong and what are the things that you can do to improve yourself you will be trained for your competitive exams as well and the best part guys you can choose your own schedule you don't have to wait for the teacher to you know like uh, 
uh, you don't have to wait for a particular time for the teacher to come you whenever you feel like studying whenever you feel like your brain is more active class are going on 24 into 7 whenever you feel like studying you can choose that particular time and study that as well and finally guys choice of your own language now here's the thing there are a lot of regional languages all over India we have we have uh, we have solved this problem by uh, you know putting out our classes in both English as well as Hindi because majority of the country understand that so I'm pretty sure that your problem would be solved by that but yes we are not focusing on the regional languages as now but later we'll be adding those regional languages as well so that's it guys with that said you'll also be getting unlimited live classes so you can attend how many of live classes you want you get all micro courses and crash courses for free you get a detailed performance report card of whatever tests you're taking you'll be getting a detailed test reports of that as well and like i told you you get personalized attention so what you have to do is very simple guys visit this website vdnt.in slash ytpro copy paste it uh, memorize it picture picture pictographic memory whatever you have to do it so this is the website vdnt.in slash ytpro once you go to this website they'll ask you which grade are you in uh the choice is between 1 to 12th grade or we are getting from 1 to 12th grade let's say that you're in 10th grade once you click on that they'll ask you which which board are you following in school are you someone who's studying in cbc syllabus are you affiliated to icc or maharashtra board so these are the three boards at the moment we are offering let's say that you're uh, you're in cbsc once you click on it this is what you're going to get whatever i've just told you everything is written over here you can pause the video and read it for yourself what you have to do is basically click on get subscription once you click on get subscription this is the next page that you're going to get one three and six months so let me just tell you this let's say this case let's say that you want to try out for 30 days the one month subscription course the base price of that is 4000 rupees but you get a primary discount of almost around 2300 rupees and essentially you'll be you'll be paying around 2699 rupees on top of that if you enter this click on this enter coupon code and enter the coupon code ak pro you'll get another 400 rupees discount essentially you'll be paying just 2294 rupees for a month let's say that you want to go for the three month subscription for the three month subscription the base price is 10000 rupees but you get a primary discount of almost 3000 rupees so you'll get uh, the price down to be around 6999 on top of that if you add the coupon code ak pro you'll get an additional 1049 rupees discount essentially what you're going to be paying is 5,949 rupees. Let's say you want to go for a six month course. For the six month course, the base price is 16,000 rupees. You get a primary discount of 5,000 rupees. You'll get so what you are essentially paying is 11,499. On top of that, if you add the coupon code AK Pro, you'll get an additional 1,724 rupees discount. Essentially, what you'll be paying is 9,774 rupees. So, do check out the link, guys. I'm pretty sure that you would find it definitely helpful. So, please try and check it out uh yeah if you do so so here is your website once again it's vdat.in slash ydpro and the coupon code is akpro check it out and let me know what you think about it with that said let us now solve some questions and check where you are really you know whether you have really understood the concepts around now again guys i want all of you guys to put on the answers in the comment section below let me see how many of you guys are able to give the right answer all right here's the first question guys if a ray of light passing through the focus gets reflected then it will cut the principal axis between C and F, that is the center of curvature and the focus. Uh, the, it returns along the same path, becomes perpendicular to the principal axis or becomes parallel to the principal axis. If a ray of light is passing through the focus, it gets reflected and will become parallel to the principal axis. The right answer, guys, would be option number D. Second question, a ray which strikes the surface separating the two optical media is called incident ray, reflected ray, refracted ray, or none of these. A ray of light which strikes the surface separating two optical medium. It is called as what? The incident ray, the reflected ray, the refracted ray, or none of these. The answer is very straightforward, guys. That is the entire topic. It is based on, this entire topic is based on that. It is nothing but the incident ray. The ray of light which is striking at the surface of separation between the two uh, mediums that is called as the incident ray very simple last question is which of the following incident ray will re uh, will get reflected along the same path it is incident a ray or a ray parallel to the principal axis a ray passing through the focus a ray incidenting on the pole or the ray through the uh, passing through the center of curvature which of these would pass uh, after reflection would pass along the same path the answer you guys already know it is option number d guys it is no doubt about it it is nothing but the uh ray of light which is incidenting through the 
uh, center of curvature so after reflection it will again pass through the center of curvature it's our in it'll take the exact same path so that's it guys that is it from my side thank you for joining i hope you enjoyed today's session do leave a like do not forget and subscribe to the channel so that you are able to get yourself you know notified of all the topics that we'll be doing ahead thank you for joining see you all in the next one this is Anup signing off for the day guys have a great evening bye, -bye. see you all